compete directly in sports? Yeah, we're asking people today if men and women should comp compete against each other directly in sports. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, it would be good. Good to see Serena face off somebody, you know. I think she could probably, yeah. Totally. Yeah. That's a good example, particularly in Serena Williams' case. She has faced men that are uh, ranked really low. Back, This was years ago, though, so she might not have been in her prime. And the guy actually was beating her, took a cigarette break, and then continued to beat her. If you guys never heard that story, look it up. But but those are certain examples where I kind of think it might be unfair to, pin men, to have men and women face each other directly. Things that are directly related to strength, like sprinting or wrestling or anything like that. Would you guys, you guys still think that's a good idea? Because I kind of feel like it might try to like eliminate a lot of women for, from being able to compete in these sports. What do you think? I think the human body is a human body, so it's strength, endurance. If you can do it, you can do it. DNA doesn't matter. So you think in general, men and women can compete they, they, on the same they playing the field? Option. They should have the option to sign up to compete against each other. Oh, I agree with that as well. Yeah. Um, how about in the case of men transitioning to women? Would you be okay with that? I've seen some articles on like the sprinting and I guess weightlifting and, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Um, it's a tough call. I don't know. You want to say anything about it? I I, I think that it's it, it's fair sport, right? Like it's it's your human body. Like there are women that probably bench more than men and vice versa. So yeah, I think it'll be. Well, in the case of men transitioning into women, what we've seen a lot in things like sprinting, wrestling, powerlifting, is that the people that transition into becoming women are blowing all the other ones out of the water in state competitions, in uh, the Olympics doesn't allow it, but in uh, higher level competitions like state, uh, regional, track and field and stuff like that, that the people who transition into women are really dominating, breaking records. I think in te Texas, they've won somebody's won consecutive wrestling championships same with powerlifting does that change your mind at all knowing that it probably isn't a statistical anomaly at this point it's just literally the fact that they may be have more testosterone in their body or they already have the uh, frame of a man before they transitioned into women it's possible or this make another league with the transition that's an interesting yeah, that actually that kind of makes sense yeah have like a trend yeah a separate league just for that so still keep the men and women separate in those cases, but have a league that's got that as well in and that, that probably makes sense, yeah. The rules are fair and the competition is fair, anyone should sign up. True, true. I mean, I do, I'm not saying that I disagree with yeah. women being able to compete with men. Yeah. If they can do it, then go for it. We've seen that in, the, in hockey, yeah. we've mm -hmm. seen it in other sports, I believe soccer as well. Soccer, yeah. And uh, even uh, recently a field goal kick, kicker in uh, football has made a practice squad for an NFL team so I'm not right, against right. it yeah. I would say that's more about if you start bringing men into women's leagues we could comp might completely eliminate the women's leagues just on the average of men being stronger and faster agree or disagree I think business will boom because both genders will be watching the show because yeah, men are there would, yeah it will look, look amazing that's now that, that would make sense too because right now sports if you ask anybody sports it's I'd say more like lead toward men than it is women, right? Now, when you look at Olympics or anything like that, that's when you actually get both genders watching this. So, football, for example, great example that you gave earlier. S Super Bowl, mostly men watch it. Women usually just come for the party and that's it kind of thing, right? For the food and all that. I don't know. I don't think there's like a big like woman following of uh, football, NFL, American football. But if you actually put both together, and that might actually uh, draw some women to wa watching fo more football, NFL. More, more the merrier. More the merrier. Yeah. Don't you think that's kind of dangerous though? Because in situations like the uh, mixed martial arts, we've had a man that transitioned into a woman and she, okay. and she actually fractured another woman's skull. Just And then another woman has fought her. We actually ended up beating her, so that's the other side of the argument. But that's a current UFC female fighter, and she said that the person hit so hard that they don't think that she should be fighting other women having been a man for 30 years and then transition into wom women. So do you think it's dangerous for the women at all? But if she had won, then she'd be like, oh, look, I beat someone who transitioned. Yeah. With their, she with did their, beat um, her. With, oh, okay. No, the one who got beat. Yeah, but the one who got beat was like clearly overpowered and had a skull fracture yeah. from her, from it, which is very that's rare. combat sport, right? Like that's like... But isn't football as well? well uh, yeah, in some, but there's protective gear and all that stuff. This is like that's fighting, right? UFC is totally different league. I think that's that's when it comes to like you're really hurting somebody, like that's injuring to win. Right? But can you argue though that the amount of concussions in football due to the con consistent head blows, just like boxing, is more dangerous than mixed martial arts because it's constant head blows? I would argue that football is more dangerous than mixed martial arts, unless you're getting knocked out all the time, which obviously is not the goal. Uh, 
Uh, Look it up then. Yeah, Don't. Okay, uh, <laughs> no, anything else you guys want to add? No, oh, that's everything, man. That's, that's good. Cool. I appreciate it a lot. Thanks, Thanks a lot. I'm not sure what's going on in this video, but I'm definitely going to buy the Blu ray of it when I get home. Yeah, sure enough. Uh, why not? I mean, it's gender equality, and uh, there's no disadvantage of uh, facing another colleague. So what about in like combat sports like wrestling, uh, mixed martial arts, football, anything like that? Do you think that would be fair? Of course, if the, if the candidate is uh, strong enough and if, if he or she is talented, the question is why not, right? And you're competing for the championship and the championship means for everyone, so it should be equal. True, true. Okay, what about cases where men have transitioned into to women gender-wise? Do you think they should be allowed to compete in female-only sports? <sighs> It's a tough question, I know. Next. Because we've had situations like in wrestling, powerlifting, sprinting like that, where the people who transition immediately dominates the sport and start setting state records and stuff like that. Do you have any opinion on that? Um, as long as they're honest, I mean, yes, emotionally they feel that they're women and uh, once again, like I said, talent goes a long way, but it's a very tough question. Uh, I'm not yeah. questioning whether what their identity is or anything like that. I'm just yeah. questioning whether it's fair because if they've lived a certain amount of time as a man or they have more testosterone in their system from the hormones that they're on, we've seen cases where the majority of them that do go over to women's sports are dominating in them. Especially in ones that are just head to head like sprinting, wrestling, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, You're looking to stay away from this I'll one, aren't stay, you? I'll stay away with this. Thank you so much. Right, thanks, man. Have a good day. Oh, what is it about? Today we're just asking people if um, they think men and women should compete directly in sports against each other. Um, I don't think so. Because even though, even though I, I strongly advocate that men and women should be treated equally. For sure, for sure. I think physio, like in terms of their bodies, is just made up differently. It's just like why women are the ones giving birth instead of the men. They're fundamentally different in terms of their physical bodies and I think it would be very unfair if they were to compete against each other even though I I'm the strong advocate that women and men should be treated equally. For sure very true so what about in cases where um, thank you <laughs> so in cases where we've had uh, men transition into women and compete in their sports talking about things like wrestling sprinting and powerlifting the people who have transitioned into women have shown overwhelmingly that they've been dominating in those sports. Now, do you think that should be allowed, or do you think we should figure out another way to let them compete, or how do you feel about that? Um, I'm, I think I'm neutral on that, because if they choose to become women, we should respect their decision, and they should be treated as women. We shouldn't discriminate them in any way, but the fact that they're fundamentally different in terms of their body makeup, um, I, I'm neutral on that matter. I don't. I don't think I know enough about that field. Well, I don't know enough about these surgeries to have a say. No, that's fair. Completely fair. Did you have an opinion you want to share? Uh, yeah, I agree with my girlfriend Michelle. You know, um, it's like boxing. Like we have different classification, like different um, weight. So like I think it's the same in terms of like men and women competing. It's a different. Um, in terms of like testosterone and body mass and everything. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank Those you. just balloons, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs>